hole. Black holes happen in many places in the universe. That looks like a giant spinning top! What you're seeing is the way a black hole pulls in anything that gets close to it. It reminds me of water, except instead of water, it's dust, rocks, meteors. How does a black hole pull things in? Through gravity. Gravity is when one thing pulls another towards its center. A black hole can form when a star is dying out and collapses into itself. This creates a massive gravitational pull. A black hole's gravity is so strong that it even pulls in light. Imagine a star collapsing. Um, can the Earth be pulled into a black hole? You've got nothing to worry about, Willow. Our Earth is nowhere near a black hole. Phew! I was about to pack my bag and head for another galaxy! <laughs> Feeding time! Comet! Comets are objects that fly around space. Wow! What's that? That's a comet, Gorby. Comets are made of rock, gas, and ice. And they have tails blowing behind them. <laughs> Do the tails wag when they're happy? <laughs> no, not that kind of tail. Comets' tails are made when pieces of the comet break off and are blown away. Hi, Mr. Comet. Where do you think comets come from, Gorby? Um, outer space? Correct. After our solar system was formed, scientists think there were lots of leftover pieces. Some of those pieces are now comets. That's Halley's Comet. It flies past the Earth every 75 years. See you in 75 years! Find the matching numbers. Constellations! The night sky is full of groups of stars called constellations. Stars! Hey, if I join those ones, I can make a circle! You made a constellation, Chester. A constellation is a group of stars people joined up to make different shapes. Just like playing connect the dots. The constellations have names. This one is called Orion the Hunter. Try connecting the stars with your finger. Oh yeah! Now I see him! Oh, look! That one's a dog! It is. That's Canis Major or the Greater Dog. The dog's eye is one of the brightest stars in the sky, called Sirius. Many constellations have a story about their shapes to help you remember them. With that many stars in the sky, there must be lots of stories! I'm gonna make up my own, all about Chester. The greatest deer. Now let's test your memory. Find the items. The Milky Way. The Milky Way is one of the billions of galaxies in the universe. Willow, did you know that we live in the Milky Way? Huh? Our Earth! We do, but our Earth is part of the galaxy called the Milky Way. So the Earth is part of our Sun's solar system 
And our sun is one of the stars in the Milky Way? Our sun is one of over 200 billion stars in the dusty, gassy Milky Way. 200 billion? This is what the Milky Way looks like. It looks flat. The Milky Way is called a spiral galaxy. It looks like a flat spinning pinwheel, doesn't it? <laughs> Scientists know that thousands of those stars have planets orbiting them, just as our planet Earth orbits our sun. So the Milky Way is full of billions of stars and us. Ha! Huh. We are all part of the biggest spinning pinwheel ever. Feeding time! Sound in space. Star nebula. Star nebulae are found far away in outer space. Wow, what a beautiful painting. That's not a painting, Willow. It's a star nebula. Deep Star nebulas are where the stars are formed. This is called the crab nebula. Oh, is it called crab because it looks like a crab? It is. <laughs> looks more like a butterfly to me. And that one's like a horse's head. That's its name, Horsehead Nebula. Nebulae are made up of gigantic clouds of dust and gas. Wow. Now let's test your memory. Find a matching pair. Solar Eclipse! A solar eclipse happens about every 18 months, and you can only see it from certain parts of the Earth. What a beautiful bright day! It's sunny now, Willow, but it's about to turn much darker. It's tonight time. You're about to see a solar eclipse. Oh! Is that when the moon passes in front of the sun? It is. The Earth, sometimes the moon gets between the Earth and the sun, which blocks the sun's light. I can't wait to see this. Then you're going to need some special eclipse glasses. You should never look directly at the sun. Back in a second. Good work, Willow. Hey, it's already darker. The eclipse has started. Solar eclipses only last a few minutes. And some, called partial eclipses, don't block out all of the sun. But this is a total solar eclipse. It's amazing. As the moon continues in its orbit, the light from the sun is no longer blocked. You know, that felt like the shortest night ever. Now, let's test your memory. Find a matching pair. The International Space Station. The International Space Station circles the Earth 16 times a day. Whoa, it's huge! It's actually the largest satellite ever sent into space. And it's bigger than a jumbo jet. How did it get there? Rockets piece by piece. And then it was put together like a big space jigsaw. Exactly. That must have taken ages. Luckily, Canada, the United States, Russia, Japan, the UK, and lots of other countries worked together to help build it. Great teamwork. 
But what did they use the International Space Station for? Scientists do special experiments there, which they can't do on Earth. And that helps them learn new things. I'd love to do experiments in outer space. Run! Rocket ship! Rocket ships are powerful machines that can be used to fly to space. Rockets are just amazing. I wonder how rockets work. The Chinese invented rockets a long time ago, Willow. But those rockets were in the form of fireworks. So how do these rockets fly? Rockets are filled with fuel. The fuel burns and turns into gas. The gas pushes downwards and is forced out of the bottom of the rocket. And that pushes the rocket upwards? It does, with enough force to fly up into space. Must have been scary for the first astronauts. Some of the first astronauts in space were monkeys and apes. <laughs> Monkey nuts! So do you want to fly into space, Willow? It's on my to-do list. But I also want to be the one that builds the rocket ship. Let's spell Jupiter.